So we have an upload, CK40 upload coil. The expansion valve has been changed to an R44B expansion valve. Uh, the next step is take the upflow coil bracket and attach the uh, RDS sensor to the coil bracket with the two mounting screws. There's a tab at the top that ensures that the wire is always rod at the bottom so you have a drip loop uh, in all installations so moisture does not enter the uh, sensor. Once the uh, sensor is installed to the bracket, the uh, bracket and sensor assembly is attached to the coil following the installation instructions of the RDS sensor kit. The upflow on the upflow coil is looked, the bottom mounting hole is a bottom hole of the end plate. The RDS sensor is now being attached to the coil assembly with the mounting screws. The next step is to route the uh, uh, wiring harness from the RDS sensor out through the uh, grommet on the side of the cabinet. Now that the uh, RDS sensor has been installed in the coil cabinet and routed outside the cabinet, the next step is to uh, route the RDS sensor to the RDS controller location. Uh, any excess wire needs to be uh, secured to the, uh, any uh, adjacent mounting surfaces. This installation includes a single RDS sensor. Uh, route the uh, RDS sensor to the RDS control and plug it into sensor one position. Once you have electrically connected, set dip switch number two to the off position uh, for a single sensor installation. Uh, the next step would be uh, wiring the uh, thermostat wiring, uh, outdoor unit wiring, and indoor unit wiring to the RDS control. Wires from the thermostat are now be connected to the uh, RDS control. Uh, thermostat wires and the outdoor unit connections are made to the left side of the control, which is a black terminal strip. Once the thermostat is connected to the RDS control, the next step is to wire the air conditioner outdoor unit to the RDS control. It's important to note the air conditioner must be connected to the black terminal strip uh, on the left-hand side of the unit. The system will have um, two wires, a single-stage unit, with connected to common. The system installation will include the condensate safety switch. Uh, the condensate safety switch must be wired uh, between the RDS control and the, either the thermostat or the outdoor unit. In this application, the condensate safety switch is being used to interrupt the Y to the outdoor unit. The condensate safety switch cannot uh, uh, interrupt power to the RDS control. This step will be wiring the uh, furnace or indoor unit to the RDS control. Uh, the indoor unit wiring to the furnace is connected to the right side of the RDS control or blue terminal strip. Uh, it must be connected to this side to ensure the RDS functions properly and provides uh, mitigation in the event that they detect the uh, presence of refrigerant. The next step is to verify the wiring and then uh, neaten up the wiring uh, before you move to the indoor furnace connections. Once the wiring has been verified as wired correctly, uh, the system has been wired to the RDS controller and the cover can be reinstalled. Once the RDS is in installed, the uh, RDS control is wired to the furnace uh, connections. We'll be connecting R, W, Y, G, and common.
Uh, note the uh, outdoor unit was not connected to the furnace. That must be connected to the indoor control. Now that the furnace wiring has been completed, the next step is to reinstall the uh, furnace access panels to complete the installation.